I know, I'm looking forward to Cheltenham this year and uh, now his jumping's kind of sorted out. He had good form when he wasn't jumping well over fences, so now his jumping's kind of, we seem to have ironed all the, all the issues out. Fairly confident with him, hopefully. Um, when you're riding him, what sort of feel does he give you? He looks is in very good nick at the moment as, as the countdown continues. <laughs> I, I always liken him to kind of driving a Rolls Royce, he's long, big stride, always feels like he's in second gear and... He's just a very high cruising speed. He's a lovely horse to ride. Obviously, you've got a soft spot for him, but when you look at his form, do you think, wow, he should be more being talked about more? <laughs> I think they all say I talk about him too much at home, but, um, yeah, no, he's, he's, he is a very good horse, and um, I do think he is overpriced, so fingers crossed. Um, as you say, he's a Rolls-Royce, but so does that mean you expect him to uh, run a big race and, and maybe even win? Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm always very confident with him. I think before the Ballymore, I, for the for a month before, I said whatever beats him will win, and he kind of pulled five or six lengths clear of third, and Sam Crow beat him. So we'll see. And he seems in pretty good order, so I'm looking forward to it.